Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm really glad that you joined me again. Today we're going to talk about kind of a micro area of design. Sometimes we go macro, we kind of zoom out like we did last time and look at an entire floor plan change. Today we're going to talk about something simple but important and that is showers. A lot of times when people are doing renovations, especially in the master suite, but really anywhere, they are trying to decide whether or not they want to tile their shower. Now, of course, obviously a big consideration is cost because a tiled shower is much more expensive to have put in. But I wanted to share with you a couple of thoughts and questions that I asked myself when we were deciding how we were going to do our shower. Then I'm going to show you um, a little bit of footage so you can see what we did as a compromise. The first question asked to me, if you're thinking about tiling a shower, is how clean do you like your shower? Most people don't think about that, but a tiled shower is very difficult to clean. When you have a solid surface shower, you're able to use um, magic erasers, you can use squeegees, you can use a lot of different supplies to quickly clean the entire shower and you can see and feel that it's clean. With a tiled shower, the tiles themselves are easy to clean, but that grout in between is really difficult to get clean. And so much soap scum and grime builds up in a shower so quickly that it needs to be cleaned pretty regularly. Well, if you're getting in there with a small brush and trying to get that grout clean, you're going to quickly stop loving that shower. So I guess the second question to ask is, do you have a cleaning maid? <laughs> if you have, if you have, um, someone outside that does your cleaning for you, then maybe that's not really a big deal for you. But if you clean your own shower like I do, it is a huge deal. Final consideration really, or the final question that I would ask myself when you're thinking about whether or not you wanna do a towel shower or not, is why you like it. And most people just love the way they look. They do look really beautiful, but there's two elements to that look that I think are the key reasons that people like towel shower. The first is the pattern, and I do like the pattern. We're gonna talk about that in a second when we look at my shower. The second, I believe, that most people don't realize is the height. So those single shower units are cut off, and I'm gonna do an entire video, actually it's coming up next, on the height of things in a room, the ceiling, bringing things up to the ceiling, et cetera. And I'll be using my bathroom as an example. But when you have a tiled shower, you are able to go all the way to the ceiling and it just makes the bathroom look much more high end. And those single unit um, insert showers don't do that. But I'm gonna show you what I decided to do so I could have a high end look for low end price and still keep my shower clean. So we're gonna go upstairs and take a look at the full bath that we have and the shower that we installed and the solution that I came up with, which actually I haven't seen a lot of people do. So I hope you like this. Let's go see it. Okay, you can see here that I do have a white shower insert right in front of you. And we trimmed it out with tile along the edges to frame it. And as I pan up, you can see that we put subway tile on the wall and square tile on the ceiling. You could really choose any pattern that you want if you like octagons or diamonds, whatever you wanted to choose. But the important thing is that it goes all the way to the ceiling and it gives you that dramatic higher end effect. Um, whereas if you just had the unit in there by itself and it was cut short, you've got that kind of push down feeling again that really bothers me. Um, so with the white extending all the way to the ceiling, you it, it, it really, these two, the tile with the unit together, it kind of look like a unified piece. The important thing about choosing white is that it does match the insert and it makes it look like a unified piece. But also, just in the long run, white tile is going to be something that you can use and keep in place even if you you know, change your wall color, you change your shower curtain, you totally change your taste. When it's white, you can usually make something work. If you pick something really trendy, you're probably gonna be tired of it in about two to three years, and then you have to rip all of that out. So not only does it match the insert, but it allows you to have a classic tile that you can use with a lot of different styles in your changing taste. A couple other things I wanted to, really important to get as 
a shower unit that is one single piece. A lot of the stores sell a two-piece unit. The walls will be one piece and the shower pan on the floor will be another and the wall overlaps that. I actually had one of those right before we tore it out and put this one in place and it would get really disgusting and nasty up under that overlap and it made me have concerns about mold. So I really wanted one piece for cleaning and just for peace of mind. The other thing that's important to point out is the shower curtain aspect of it. Right now you can see I have a clear shower curtain in there and that's because I just took down the shower curtain that I used for spring and summer. It's now fall and I have not put up a fall shower curtain yet. But when you use a shower curtain, first of all, I like shower curtains better than glass doors. I know glass doors are all the rage and they have been for several several years now, but the bathroom is one of the few places where I'll actually do a bolder pattern. Um, so I do like to use a shower curtain instead of a glass door. You could do a glass door on this arrangement just like you would on a fully tiled shower. But when you have a shower curtain up that's fabric, it actually covers the insert. So you, it looks like the entire shower is tiled which is kind of nice if that's what you're really going for and that's important to you. I actually plan on the next shower curtain that I do, I'm going to buy the fabric and make it really long so I can move the rod all the way to the top, again giving it that longer, um, extending the, the shower curtain all the way to the ceiling as well just to continue with the idea of bringing your eye up and making it look more high end. Um, so shower curtains work, glass doors work. When you use a shower curtain, you don't even see the insert, which is kind of nice if you really want that tile look. I hope this video has helped you. Um, a shower seems like a tiny topic to feature in a design video, but it's a big part of a bathroom redo, and I hope that help you work through some of the factors to think about when you're making your decision as far as neutrality, cleaning, uh, cost, and the overall impact of the look. If you like this video, if you would hit like and subscribe if you want to receive notification when we have new videos coming out, hitting that bell and subscribing will achieve that. You'll know when we have something new up. And we're going to continue to make design videos that I hope cover details that aren't necessarily covered in videos that just show you the before and after. We like to get into the details. That's the fun of it, and that's where we do our work. So let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much. Now, before I show you this shower, I need to tell you a story. I would never take the Lord's name in vain, but there is someone whose name we do take in vain around here, and I feel kind of guilty about it in a way, but what we've done is really we've turned his name into a verb. So the guy we bought this house from, his name is Russell. And once we got the house and we started discovering thing after thing after thing after thing that was built wrong, that we needed to repair or correct, we started using his name because he did it and we were dealing with it. And so we started saying things like, well, that's been rustled, or Russell, or don't rustle it. So <laughs> my husband knows how to tile, but what you're gonna see at the top of the shower is a situation where the bathroom is crooked. Now, most rooms we've actually fixed, um, as we've gone and we've literally jacked up the house, straightened things out, made things square plumb. But in this instance, with it being an upstairs bathroom um, and the roof over it, we did what we could. We actually gutted the whole bathroom, but we did not, we're not able to completely straighten out the ceiling. So what you're gonna see is a grout line that is out of place. You really don't notice it when you're living here from day to day, but when I show you this, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's a crappy tile job. It's not. 
it was Russell. Not to blame him, but 